Welcome to this video tutorial on quick stair creation in Rhino. I'm working in millimetres in this file and I'm going to start with these two floor plates I have here. I'm going to select my polyline tool and just draw a line from the bottom of the first floor plate to the top of the second one, like so. We're then going to take that line, I'm going to copy it, move it outwards and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees for the length of our stairs. Now the length of the staircase needs to be 1.5 times the height, so we're just going to use the scale tool. Select the base point here and type in 1.5 to scale that to 1.5 times the height. We're now going to work out the length of each of our steps here and we're going to do that by taking our height dimension here and using the divide tool. Like so, We're first going to click on this length option to give us the length of the curve which in my case is 3000 millimetres. I'm then going to take my calculator, we're going to take that 3000 millimetres and we're going to divide it by the height of one step, which in this case is going to be 200 millimetres, like so. This will give me the number of steps I need and if your kind of number isn't an exact number like this, just round it up or down to give you that division number. With that number 15, I'm then going to kind of take my line, use the divide tool again and we're going to divide it by 15 in this case. I'm then going to select the other line and we'll do the same division here, 15 as well, to give us the width of each step. Now I'm going to take my box tool and I'm going to use the three point box here. We're going to use this tool to create the kind of depth of each step. We're going to give it the height based on these points I've made and then we're going to give it a length and I'm going to do around 2000 meters or millimeters here. Now we've got our step, before we copy this up we're going to turn this into a block and this will allow us to edit the steps later. I'm just going to choose the first point there and I'm just going to call this step 01 in this case. Once we've made our first step we're then going to draw a diagonal line from the bottom of our steps to the very top, like so. I'm going to use the array curve tool here to select my step, hit enter, select my curve like so and then we're going to array this by 16 which is one more than the divisions we have to properly array this step along the curve. And once we hit enter we then have our steps all the way to the top and you can delete that top step there which now gives us our 15 equal steps. The reason I make this a block is because we can now select one step. I can type in the block edit function like so and we can always edit this step with any other features. So it might be that I want to create a little bit of depth just using the box tool here to give this step a bit of that diagonal depth there. And I'm just going to Boolean union that together and merge the faces. And once we've done and hit OK, all the other steps will follow that first one. Now, just to finish, we're going to just select all of our steps here and we're going to group these together just using the group command. And then I'm going to make a box from the top corner to the bottom corner of these steps and we'll make it quite deep and this way we can select our steps, we can select our box, we can move it into whatever position we want on our floor and then use the boolean difference tool to subtract the box from this shape to give us our opening in our floor plate for our steps. So that was a very quick video tutorial on step creation in Rhino.